Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we've got another little hover effect for you today. Really simple to do. We've got an image here with three icons on it. When you hover over the icons they're going to expand and reveal some text and content. Really easy to do. There's no extra coding or plugins involved in this today. We're just using the onboard features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a row here with two columns in it. Obviously, construct it however is going to work best for you. I'm going to go over here to my second column and add a module. And we're going to be using the Blurb module for this today purely because of the icon. And it's put in a dummy image and a little bit of content there. Okay, a little too much content for me. I'm going to take out about half of it. Obviously put whatever you want your title to say in here. Or whatever your content wants to say in there. We roll down to image and icon. I actually want to use an icon. So just flip the little switch to icon over there. And choose whatever icons appropriate to what you want to do today. Obviously, if you want to link this module somewhere, the next one down, you can link just the title or the whole module right here. Title right there. Usual best practice. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. OK, well, I'm not going to put a background in just yet. Let's go over to our design tab. Image and icon. Well, let's make that icon white. It'll disappear into the background. So I'll leave it as it is for a moment. We'll change the color in a minute when we've got a background on. I don't want to circle the icon. If you want to circle your icon, you can put a background color in like that. And I want it to be on the left so we can expand it to the right. So I'm going to put it on the left. And I want it to be a bit bigger than that. So I'm going to use icon font size here. I'm going to roll it. Just get it whatever size works for you. Something like that's going to work for me, I think. Not exactly, but it's going to want to be a similar sort of size to the amount of text you've got there. Okay, we've got the shape that we want. Let's go back to our content tab now. I'm going to put a background color in just so we can see the width. So let's make it blue. Okay, now to make everything stand out we'll go back to our design tab image and icon I'm gonna make that white well, I'm gonna do exactly the same for the text if we roll down a little bit here's our text general so this is for title and content I'm gonna make that light there we go and the title text I think I'm gonna bold it up make it into a bold title right there so it stands out a little bit great all right, well, let's give this a little bit of padding top, bottom, left and right, just so it's got a bit of breathing room. So still on the design tab, let's close up the title text, go into spacing. And I'm going to give it, say, 10 picks all round. So just put in the 10, it'll put in the picks for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And the same for left and right. There we go, it's got a little bit of breathing room there. Okay, let's think about this. What do we want it to do? When we initially see it, we just want to see the icon itself. So we just want to see this part. Then when we hover over it, we want it to expand it out to 100% so we can see everything here. So still on the design tab, we go into sizing. Now width wise. Now when we're not hovering over it, like I say, we just want to see that icon. So let's hover over till we get these arrows up here, this little arrow. And this is common to most Divi modules. If you hover, you'll find some icons appear. If there's an arrow there, you can set a hover state when your mouse is on it and a desktop state when your mouse is not. So when the mouse is not on it, I just want to see the icon. So I'm going to pull the width down. So we can just see that icon. That's all I want to see there. And obviously I don't want this bit down the bottom here. So let's give it a height as well. 
remember this is just on the desktop state so I'm going down to height I'm going to make it 100 pixels tall obviously depending on the size of your font you'll want to make yours a certain size that's pretty close let's make it actually 100 pixels wide up here in the width instead of 19 percent just put in the 100 again it'll put in the pics for you that's bleeding a little bit of our text slightly on the right hand side there so let's take it down till that disappears so that's 99 and I'm going to make it 99 tall then so we've got a square great now when we hover over it I want it to be 100% I want it to stretch all the way and I want to see all that writing so again make sure we're on the width make sure we've got our desktop and hover up hit the hover state and instead of 99 picks I'm going to put 100% 100% and it will expand to the full width there okay one other thing is when we pull it back to here our text is going to sort of expand and drop down out I don't want to see anything falling out of this box so I'm going to go over to the advanced tab I'm going to go to visibility and horizontal and vertical overflow I'm going to switch both of these to hidden that way when that text expands and drops it won't fall out of that box now while we're here the time that it actually takes to go from desktop state to hover state with Divi default is 300 milliseconds it's a little bit quick for me I'm going to slow mine down and to do that while we're in the advanced tab we can go, just go down the transitions below and we can change it from 300 mils default to whatever you want it I'm going to say about three quarters of a second and the transition speed curve I like to use for these things is ease in and ease out so let's use that one okay well we're going to put a little image in our column here so I probably don't want the blue background on the icon so let's do that next so let's go into our column so we're going to the green tab for the row we're working on the second column here column one column two so we want to go column two background I'm going to add an image choose whatever image you want to add to your background here let's pop that one in there okay let's just save this that's fine but I just want to see the icon I don't want to see the background until we actually expand so let's go back into our module here back into our blurb module I'm going to go to our content down to background and again I'm going to roll over the dark writing to get the hover state up desktop I don't want any background at all there we go just want to see the icon just like that when we hover over it I want it to have that blue background so it's going to stand out if you want to take the opacity down you can do a bit so you can see some of the image behind there but that's entirely up to you I'm going to have mine fully colored for this today okay and of course when it's expanded like that we can't see any of the image so what I'm going to do now is we'll save this and let's duplicate these little square box there's one there's two we'll go in just change the icon out obviously you want to change your content and title too and we'll do similar for this one now let's save our changes save the page changes save draft or publish and exit the visual builder let's roll on down to where we were working there's our little icons when we roll over they're going to expand and show us the content there when we let go they sort of ease back in 
And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. Like I say, no extra coding involved in this today. So there you go. There's how to create an expanding blurb module over an image. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.